favor, and I would like to go into truck driving. So, um, the description of truck driving, basically you will haul one lo uh, loads of merchandise or food from one place to another. And 13.4% uh, make a of truck drivers are all registered vehicles in the United States. 67% of them are with, uh, women. And uh, truck uh, um, big rigs uh, often consume about uh, 20,500 gallons of diesel per year. And a fun fact, uh, Swift transportation is most commonly known for their uh, tr uh, truck accidents causing um, about 206 a year, but um, over 20 fa fatal incidents a year. The education requirements, they offer, um, you have to have a high school, you have to graduate high school, you have to have a valid driver's license and earn a CDL, which you can go to college for that. And um, proof of identity citizenship, citizenship um, drug tests are optional. It just depends on where you do go to. And proficient in the English language, that depends on what company you go to. Internships, there is, at the moment, there is no uh, required internship, but um, the only thing that they uh, require is a CDL, which, as I said, you can get from college. How much you get paid, they get an average around 77000 a year, uh, uh, 5400 a month, and 1400 weekly. Benefits, they offer health insurance, uh, freedom and flexibility. You get to drive around and literally look at the scenery while you drive. Um, job security, they are really looking for truck drivers at the moment and that like once you get it, you're sure to have it for a while unless you do something bad. Um, improving industry, there's been, uh, they're upgrading trucks in like um, upgrading emissions, um, like uh, fast paced and more reliable tr um, transportation. And salary, depending on um, how um, taxes go, the uh, salary may go up or down or fluctuate in the future. Uh, the types of junk companies um, are these right here. The common, common ones here are like Swift, of course, um, Prime. They're not on here, but um, uh, let's see. There is one near here that I've seen that's a really good company. But um, Beacon Transport, Pemberton Truck Lines, M and W Logistics Group. I believe that one was common. And Volunteer Express, Tennessee Steel Haulers, and there's a bunch more from here. These are just uh, related in the Tennessee area. Work hours, you get, there's a 60 to 7 uh, weekly limit, weekly hour limit. Um, uh, daily drive time is 11 hours, you can't go over that because they require you to uh, have a 14-hour um, day limit and a 30-minute break every 8 hours, so you don't fall asleep during the world. Um, why I chose this career is because it's free to roam, you get to choose where you work, and break, you can take breaks anytime, as in like stopping at a pit stop and getting to see a place you've never been before. And uh, it offers good money if you keep repetitively doing uh, hauling loads. You get paid really good because uh, my uncle was a uh, truck driver and he lived almost his whole life doing it. And uh, alone time, basically, it's just you and the cab on a highway to wherever you're hauling the destination to. My budget, it seems to be broken, but um, my net income was around 700 a month. Um, let's see, I'm trying to figure out which one is which. My controllables is around 420. Uh, my uh, uh, my uh, fixed income is around 150, so that would leave me with about uh, 150 dollars a month. 
Uh, thank you. That is the end of my presentation. Does anyone have any questions? Now, to do your CDL, do you have to be 21 in order to get that license? Yes. Okay. Yeah, um, depending on uh, most, uh, you can get like CDLs at um, different trucking companies or, as I say, colleges. And you, uh, or so, uh, also just go to the DMV and do it there. But some, uh, they might offer you how to have a uh, drug test and background check uh, to require to get that. Any other questions? All right, let's give it a minute.